Hello, West Grant Intermediate School. We are back for another WSIS weekly wrap-up. Second quarter progress reports are available to view tomorrow, Friday, December 18th. Make sure you're logging in to check and see the assignments that you are missing. You will have plenty of time to make them up over Christmas break. And now, for the moment you've all been waiting for, our teacher rock star this week is Ms. Danielle Corby. Ms. Corby is our English language development teacher. And our student rock star is Melissa Ortiz Toledo. Congratulations, Ms. Corby, you are my teacher rock star. And Melissa, you are my student rock star this week. You guys are doing an awesome job. Miss Corby, we're gonna start with you. How long have you been teaching at West Intermediate? Oh, uh, thank you, Mrs. Rucker. Um, well, my normal answer is not long enough, <laughs> but I think technically um, nine years at the middle school uh, full time. And before that I was five years at the middle school and the high school combined. So basically a total of uh, 14 years now. So all at West, right? West, West, West High, West Intermediate, and then all the time at West. So yes, West is best. It's all the way. No doubt. So you teach English learners, so English language development. Why do you love teaching English learners? I love it. It's the best job in the whole world. I wouldn't trade it for anything. My students are the most respectful students. They are the sweetest, the kindest, and the most hardworking. I am convinced of it. They, every day, every day, they have to take what I am saying to them and the other teachers are saying to them and process it in their brains to their first language and then process it back out into English. And it's so very difficult and they do it and they do it with such grace and dignity every day. And it can be very frustrating for them. And it could be very frustrating for us, the teachers, but we have to just try to remember how frustrating it is for them. And I like to tell a quick story from a very long time ago when I was first becoming an, well, at the time was English as a second language teacher, now it's English language development. And I worked at a migrant camp for one summer teaching the adults and the young adults, the older children. And one day I had to go to a uh, presentation for them for something at night and the whole entire thing was in Spanish and I don't speak Spanish or understand it very well. And I had the biggest headache when I left and it was so, so awful. <laughs> and I just always try to remember that every day that that's what my students are going through every day. And you would never know it most of the time. They're, they're so well behaved and they try so, so hard. And they're just the best kids in the whole entire world. And I'm the luckiest person in the whole world to have my job that I do. Well, you don't have to convince me how wonderful they are because you know I used to, before being an assistant principal, I was an ELD teacher as well. Right. And I totally agree with you. And that's an excellent point to bring up because mm -hmm. I always used to like to think if they took you to Japan and dropped me right off in Japan, and everything was spoken in Japanese and written in Japanese, I, I would not be able to speak their language and I would have to learn just like our English learners are learning. That's right. I, and they're truly amazing. They have great attitudes and they want to be here and they want to learn. And we appreciate yes. them as much as they appreciate us. Yes, I hope Do you they... have any tips for our English learners with uh, succeeding with virtually? Because now, not Ooh. only are you trying to learn a new language, but you're trying to learn it virtually. Well, yes. <laughs> um, to say it's been a challenge is an understatement. Um, but God love them. They are on there and they're trying. And I mean, once we got them on, they're there. I have, I think, one of the highest percentage rate of participation of all the classes. Um, but yes, they, as just like when re in uh, regular school, consistency is key. They need to be on, participating in the live meets as much as possible. 
watching the recorded lessons. I make beautiful recorded lessons for them, for them to watch because I know, just as in real life, they have to miss school a lot because they are the family's interpreter. They are the family's child care workers a lot. So they also not are, they are not only just being children and trying to adapt to the new country as a child, but they are also, um, also functioning almost like an adult in most of their families. So they can't make the lives as much as I would like them to. But they watch their meeting, their uh, recorded lessons, and they get their work done um, for the most part. And I think if they could just continue to do that and make um, make the lives when they can, and to just keep trying, just like always, I think that they will continue to be successful. And in a weird way, I think sometimes the virtual is almost a little bit better for them because they are uh, really getting sort of a one-on-one. -on -one or a one on two or a one on three, and they don't have the distraction of the other students, which are normally their friends in their class. So um, I think they're doing a great job and, and I hope they're doing as well in their other classes as they are for me. Well, I watched your uh, lessons, I watched your videos, and your participation, like you said, has been fantastic. And that's why you're a rock star, Ms. Corbin. Thank you. I am a rock star. Thank you so much, Mrs. Rucker. You do go above and beyond for our English learners at West Intermediate, and we are very lucky to have you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now, could you tell me why you wanted to select Melissa as your as our student rock star? Oh, well, I selected Melissa because, as I just said, um, she does participate in, I think, 99% of our meetings. I don't think she's missed many, if any at all. Um, and even if she has, she's, all of her work is always done. She also has a little brother in our school and I know she helps him at home and tries to help get him through his class. And she has improved so much in just a, such a sort of short period of time. Melissa only came to our country from Chile only last November. So only like one year ago. And she has increased so much in her um, ability and her proficiency. Um, I'm almost scared I'm gonna lose her too soon. <laughs> you know, most of my kids I have, um, they're like a little family to me because I have them for two years, three years and multiple times throughout the day. So um, they're like my little children and she is uh, doing so great. And she's so, so polite as you know from, uh, speaking with her and dealing with her in real life and in virtual. Um, she's a great uh, kid. And like I said, she's so helpful to her brother, her family members, and she is taking her studies so, so seriously. So she's doing a great job. She she's is being a, rock a rock star. star. Yes, she is. Melissa, do you hear the wonderful things Miss Corby saying about you? And they're all true. Your English has gotten so much better since you came to the United States. Thank you so much. <laughs> Would you tell us a little bit about your country? I, I yeah. know you made a slideshow for us, so we're going to pull it up right now. Okay, go ahead, Melissa. Tell us a little bit about your country. Okay. Let me see. Chile. Um, my two favorite Chile foods, there are many traditional foods in Chile, but my favorites are called lampanada, the sopaipilla, and a sea soap, and a sea food soap. I love empanadas. They're my favorite. So they're just like you. They're my favorite too, and they're down here in the lower left. Ooh. Oh, thank you. Traditional <laughs> dance. Uh, and the national dance of Chile is called the Cueca. And this dance has roots in both African and Native American cultures. Awesome. Now, do you know how to do this dance? Yeah, I know. <laughs> you're going to have to teach us, right, Miss Corby, when we come That's back? That's right. Today? When we come back, we're going to have a dance party in the balcony. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Helian language. In Chile, the most part of the, of the people speak Spanish, but there are two languages in Chile. 
One of them is a language spoken by the indigenous people of Chile. It is called Mapudungun. The other language is spoken by the people who live on Easter Island called Pascuense. Now, do you know this the, that language too, or do you just know Spanish? No, I know just Spanish. The, that language, that language is so difficult. Language well, you're so you're already bilingual, so you know two <laughs> languages, which is very impressive, more than most people. So you just keep right. up the great work. Thank you. Isla de Pascua or Easter Island. Chile is home to Easter Island, known to Chileans as Isla de Pascua. Easter Island is most famous for its nearly thousand monumental statues called Moai, created by the early Rapanui people. And I have seen pictures of that statue before, but I didn't realize that's where it came from. So that's very interesting. <laughs> oh, fun facts. Love fun facts. Whoa. Uh, Fun fact about Chile, Angarova City is home to the most impressive artificial paradise. There you can find the world's largest swimming pool, named by the Guinness Book of Records. It is thousand yards, that is the same as 20 acres. It is 150 feet deep at its deepest spot. It can hold 66 million, million of gallons of beautiful crystal clear Sea water. Uh, I would love to swim in there. Have you ever been there, Melissa? No, but my mom did that. Yes, I would love to swim. I love to swim. It's beautiful. And the last one fact about Chile is with an elevation of 7,900 feet, Chile's Atacama Desert is the driest place on earth with a land case of surreal beauty. That is beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Great job. Isn't that wonderful? You, she whipped that up in like an hour and a half. <laughs> and wait, and you have only been in the country one year? Yes. That is amazing how much English you have learned. You are truly a rock star, Melissa. You keep up the great work. I'm so proud of both Miss Corby and yourselves, how awesome you're doing with this virtual learning. So could you just tell me real quick, what's something you like about the United States? I like the people and the, and the opportunities that are here. What, what's something you miss about Chile? Uh, my family and my friends. Now, do you communicate with them via the internet? Like, yes. Well, yes. that's good for the internet that we could still talk to them and over the phone and see them mm -hmm. um, over FaceTime. What makes you so successful with virtual learning? Because it's hard for regular stu English stu speaking students and for you to speak a different language and trying to learn English, it's even more challenging. So tell me what's, what are the tips for your other classmates that are English I, I tell me myself, tell, tell myself that all the mornings that um, I can do anything that um, I, I put my mind on. What great advice you could put, you could do anything you put your mind to, and you remember that for the rest of your life because you could absolutely yes. do anything you put your mind the to. The limitation right. is here, it's here. I, you can do it anything. That's wonderful advice. So, thank you both for being rock stars. I yeah. want you to keep up the great work. I'm so very proud of both of you, Amazing. and I have a little surprise. So, Merry Christmas, and oh. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, it's so cute. <laughs> All right. So, what does Feliz Navidad stand for, Melissa? What? What does Feliz Navidad stand for? Uh, say a happy Christmas. Christmas. Yes. Merry Christmas in Spanish. Christmas. Very, very good. <laughs> so awesome job and keep up the great work and you keep being rock stars, both of you, okay? okay. Thank you, Mrs. Rucker. Thank you. Okay, we are back for another Minute to Win It challenge between our teacher rock star, Miss Corby, and our student rock star, Melissa Ortiz. Here are the rules. Face the cookie. 
In this challenge, the contestants will play as a team. The human face is composed of many muscles with two large groups that help make a smile or frown. The contestants must each transport a cookie from their forehead to their mouth using only their facial muscles. If a cookie drops, the contestant may reset another cookie on the forehead and try again. Failure to complete this task in 60 seconds. In 60 seconds? It's timed? This may result in elimination. Cara de galleta. La cara humana está compuesta de muchos músculos, con dos grandes grupos que ayudan a realizar una sonrisa. En este reto, el concursante deberá transportar un total de tres galletas desde la frente hasta la boca, usando los músculos de la cara. Si la galleta cae, el concursante debe agarrar otra galleta y comenzar de nuevo. De no completar esta prueba en 60 segundos, el concursante quedará eliminado. Are there any questions? No. Okay. When you hear the horn, you can begin. Game begins in three, two, one. First one to get one. We have to amend the rules. Too many tries. Oh, she's almost there. 25 seconds, Melissa. Come on, get it. Oh, Melissa. Oh. <laughs> you gotta do it. He's so close. 17 <laughs> seconds. I can't have any more Oreos in my eyes. You got it. You got it. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Melissa. <laughs> I can't take any more cookie crumbs in my eyes. <laughs> thank you for getting it. <laughs> Well, you know what that means. It's four for students now and one for teachers. Oh, good. <laughs> Melissa, Good <Thank> job. job. <laughs> Thank you so much. Wait a minute. She's bilingual and could catch cookies in her mouth? Boy, is she terrific or what? <laughs> <laughs> Great job, Melissa. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Thank you both for participating. Keep being <laughs> rock stars, okay? And have a Merry Christmas. You too. You. Feliz Navidad and Happy Feliz New Year. Navidad. Feliz Navidad. <laughs> Adios, Thank you bye. Bye. Now you can enjoy your cookies, Melissa. You <laughs> okay. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Bye. bye. Congratulations again to our teacher rock star, Ms. Corby, and our amazing student rock star, Melissa Ortiz Toledo. What an inspiration she is. Remember, we have an early dismissal next Wednesday, December 23rd. Also on next Wednesday, we will have a special Christmas raffle. To be eligible to win prizes, you must be participating in all your classes. And little Rucker is watching you. She knows when you're on your video games and Snapchat and not doing work. So make sure you're doing all your assignments. And remember, West is best. <laughs>